Passage 4. Underwater Wonderland The Great Barrier Reef, off the coast of Australia, draws people from all over the world. It's a beautiful place to swim, go boating, and relax on the beach. However, what is most special about the Great Barrier Reef is what you can see underwater. The Great Barrier Reef is 1,400 miles long, over 2,200 kilometers. It's made up of almost 1,000 islands and nearly 3,000 coral reefs, making it the world's largest coral reef system. It's the only living thing on the planet that can be seen from space. The reefs were built over thousands of years by billions of tiny sea creatures called coral polyps. It may be difficult to think of coral polyps as animals. They do not swim or move themselves across the ocean floor. They do not have eyes, ears, a heart, or a brain. A coral polyp is basically a tiny soft body with a mouth and a stomach. It also has tentacles that help it protect itself and catch food. Some coral polyps live alone, but most live in groups called colonies. Each differently shaped part of a reef is its own colony. A colony has a single species or type of coral. In the Great Barrier Reef, there are about 400 species of coral in all. Most of the 400 are hard coral species, the type that builds reefs. They produce calcium carbonate, the same thing shells are made of, at the base of their bodies. They use it to attach themselves to a rock or the sea floor. Then it becomes hard, like a shell. Reefs are built over time, as coral produce more and more calcium carbonate. Reefs then attract many other types of sea creatures and plants. Exactly how many, no one can say. Counting just the fish, the Great Barrier Reef is home to more than 1,500 species. In 1975, the Australian government established the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. The point was to protect the reefs. However, these reefs, like coral reefs everywhere, are in danger. A great deal of the coral has already died. Researchers studying the situation found that between 1985 and 2012, the Great Barrier Reef had lost half its coral cover. Violent storms called cyclones destroyed many of the reefs. The researchers say storms caused about half the damage to the coral. Climate change could cause storms like these to hit more often. If they do, the coral cover won't have enough time between storms to grow back. The second largest problem was a growing number of crown of thorns starfish. They eat coral polyps. Between 1985 and 2012, they ate them faster than the coral cover could grow back. Coral everywhere faced the problem of higher ocean temperatures caused by climate change. Some coral species cannot deal with the warmer waters. Then there is ocean pollution. No species deals well with that. In the past few years, many countries have established new Marine Protected Areas, MPAs. That's great news. These are parts of the ocean that are like national parks on land. In an MPA, human activities, especially commercial fishing, are controlled to protect the plants and animals. 
more MPAs are needed. Right now, only 1% of the ocean is protected in this way. However, even in MPAs, as in the Great Barrier Reef, nature is not safe from pollution or climate change.